So we are here once again with the 325i BMW. This is a 2007 325i BMW. Brief walk around the car. As you can see here, beautiful metallic blue finish. Almost like a navy blue. Sunroof, antenna, everything. Now upon entering the car, you will notice you are greeted with a beautiful white finish of Napa white leather with a very creative style, titanium handles, one touch door and one touch windows, as well as upon entering the interior of the car, you will notice that you do have your optional F1 style paddle shift. This being the 325 upgraded package. Now, as upon entering the car, you will notice that this does not carry the optional navigation system. Now, the navigation system, which is the iDrive system, is an optional uh, optional option from BMW when you do order. Obviously, the previous owner did not order an option. He ordered just paddle shift. As well, if you look down here, um, you will notice that the paddle shift can also be controlled from down here, from the shifter. As you can see, sequential shift plus minus as well as looking around to the rest of the interior you'll notice that it's substantially wrapped in beautiful leather everywhere leather upholstered dual climate control as you can see both sides as well as your optional BMW navigation system as well as your, sorry about that not navigation system radio system that will function on or off with your normal red lighting from BMW sort of like a burnt orange Looking around the interior too, it has a dark, almost walnut effect of a wood grain going around, but you can see it travels along the dash. Looking around to the, the, the passenger side, again with the cream leather seats also heated. Looking around, as you can see, beautiful stitching, hand carved, never been driven too much. One option, your optional power sunroof, slash moonroof, one touch. Now, looking back to the bottom of the car, you will notice that the wood grain does travel around the car from the front, from the left to the front, as well as your BMW still badge right on your door pillar, as you can see, beautiful chrome finish. Also entering to the rear, the rear interior, you will notice that the wood grain treatment carries on into the rear interior for your rear occupants. Now this being the 325i, that the, it's a smaller, more compact sedan as opposed to having a 5 series. So you're not going to get as much leg room as you would get in a 5, but it's still substantial. I mean, I'm about 5 foot 10 and I can still get in here pretty good. I'm pretty good in here, you understand? So uh, it's pretty good for leg room for our even tall occupants, as you can see. Beautiful tier with your armrest that's able to reach the back for your rear occupants as well as heat, heated vents for your rear occupants. As you can see, over here, one touch automated windows for your rear passengers, as well as once upon exiting the vehicle, you will notice that you will see that there is no scuff marks, anything with the car whatsoever wrong with it. As you can see here, just a beautiful exterior finish, no stone chips, no high mileage, roughly less than 200,000 miles. And there is an X-Drive marked on the car, which meaning X-Drive means that this BMW is an all-wheel drive BMW. So the power gets laid down to all four wheels, as opposed to just the rear wheels, which is what typical BMWs offer, right? Looking around here at the front grill, you can see that there is Beautiful finish on the car, nothing wrong with the car, no accidents, no scuffs, no scrapes, no dents, nothing wrong with the car. You have your bi xenon focus headlights, as you can see here with your top. Beautiful BMW chrome finish grille with your black center inserts. Going around here, now opening the hood of the car. As you can see, Opening the bonnet of the car, you will notice that very, very, very nice engine, very clean. 
no disturbance, nothing. As you can see, the sticker is still built on the car that you can know that the car has never been in an accident. You can see there, Tahifa Sea Blue, metallic blue. And if you look at this, you will notice the engine now. This being the 325 BMW, a lot of people don't understand what the numbers in BMW stands for. The 325 stands for 2.5 liter BMW engine. So this is a 2.5 liter, right? The three stands for the car. The, two, the, the other numbers behind the BMW numbers are the leaders of the engine. That's why BMW does that, right? So if you notice that this is a 225, meaning that this is a BMW 3 2.5 liter engine. So you're roughly getting probably from 215 brake horsepower roughly to 270 brake horsepower just out of this motor. And this is a V6 motor. Beautiful engine, stunning BMW 325 as you can see there. Now upon entering the rear of the car, the trunk, you still get a lot of generous trunk space. As you can see, this is a smaller compact four-door and you are still getting a very, very generous amount of trunk space. As you can see over here, you have your battery for BMW because BMW has the batteries in the rear. And if you look under here, you will notice that you have your spare wheel and your little extra luggage space as well as a little bit of stuff here that you can store and whatever and whatnot. Your little storage and stuff for your little weekend trips. Looking at the rear tail lights, you will notice that it has pretty much the LED running daytime tail lights for the rear as well. And this being the 325 again, once again, have to mention that a lot of people don't understand the difference between the three, the three series. 320 is a four cylinder BMW, okay? That will have one exhaust. A three series up, a 325 or a 323 will have two exhausts. That means that you can tell it's a six cylinder BMW and it's not a four cylinder BMW. So with this being the 325, it's gonna have a double exhaust. So that's how you know this is a six cylinder BMW. Again, with the BMW numbers, again, you notice this says 328. Sorry about that, 328, meaning that's a 2.8 liter. Sorry about that. A lot of people don't understand what the numbers mean, so. Uh, this for the specs and options for your numbers the 328 sorry about that meaning that it has a little bit more horsepower So you're getting a less instead of getting 215. You're getting more roughly 250 to 280 brake horsepower back to the engine As well as you can see your fog lights down there Just a stunning example of a well taken care of 3 series Your optional moonroof slash sunroof, your antenna, and your gas cap located on the right side. One touch push, as you can see. Now this does have your optional 19 inch rims, but the options are available from 18 all the way up to 20, I believe. 20 being for the M models. Look down here as well, your basic rotor and brake setup. As well as your last date it was serviced. That's a beautiful example of another BMW. If you would like this car, this car is available at a luxury and sports cars located at 46160 Steels Avenue. And this car is listed. If you would like to purchase this vehicle, you can come to the website, log on to luxuryandsportscars.com and you will be able to purchase car and also see the rest of this car and I will also you will also be getting to see a lot of more of the specs and thanks again this is Nick at uh, Toronto car and exotic reviews have a nice day